Hello everybody, a little bit of progress today. Let's uh, walk through what we've done. So, this is our tone switch. And if you look at your tone switch on the schematic, it's right here. And you'll see that uh, there's the tone switch right there. And we've got a .003 microfarad capacitor hanging right off of it. And then it comes down and connects here. So let's just take a walk through that. So here's the, um, here's the .003 capacitor. And you'll see I've got it connected right here. It comes down. I have it mounted in this bracket. And then I have some heat shrink tubing. And I've connected a wire to it. It goes back under the chassis. Comes through here. Comes around to this terminal strip that I've installed. Okay? So let's take a look at the terminal strip. So, what you see in the terminal strip is the tone wire comes here, attaches to, um, to the first capacitor, which is right here, which is a um, 0.01 microfarad capacitor. That's right over here. And if you look at the schematic, that's listed right there. Okay? So, it attaches to that. And then if you look at the schematic, you'll see that from the um, 0.06, there's a common point common electrical point that goes both to the grid of the um, of the AF uh, tube and then it comes down and it goes to a 1 meg resistor right here so what you'll see is it comes here goes to a 1 meg resistor all right so that brings us right here and right here is that junction point so at this junction point I have a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and I have a 250k um, resistor right here. So here's the common point. It goes to the uh, 0.1 microfarad capacitor and then this is the 250k resistor which right now is not connected to anything. Okay, That's right here. And if you look at the schematic here's the other side of that resistor that's not connected to anything. I just have it hanging out right now. If you look at this capacitor here which is the 0.1 microfarad right here which again on the schematic is right here you'll see I have this end just flapping in the breeze. So what I've really been able to do at this point is connect a capacitor, a resistor, a capacitor, and a resistor. The only thing that was left to do is connect it to the screen grid. So what I did here, because I used the terminal strip, is I used the bottom part of the terminal strip, which is right down here. And you'll see, let's see if I can point it out for you. You'll see right here, that's the bottom part of the terminal strip, and I have a wire that's run all the way over here to the grid on the 2A5 tube. Okay? You following me? So, um, I essentially have that entire part connected. Now, one thing I didn't do on this one yet is connect this side to the chassis. And the reason why is I may have to move it around as I install other things. So I only have it mounted to the chassis on one side, which is a ground, by the way, right here. Okay, as a ground, and you'll see that I have this capacitor right here going to ground as well. Okay, why? Because if you look at the schematic, C8, you'll see right here it comes to ground. Okay, so um, I've utilized the ground lug for, the, for this connection, and it's currently grounded to the chassis. So um, I essentially have, you know, all four of these components connected. I have the capacitor that's needed for the tone control, and I have the tone control partially connected. Pretty cool, right? So um, all that with one terminal strip. Um, and again, I have the ability to move this up and down a little bit, and when I finally get everything in place here, I'll be able to loosen that screw a little bit, adjust it, and then drill a hole and put the final screw in. So, um, so that's what I've accomplished today. So let's, uh, let's do some marking on the, uh, on the schematic. That's always a fun part here. So let's move that out of the way. Let's get our schematic right there. Let's mark off what we did. Okay, so we've got this connected to this capacitor, right? We've come down here. We've got a connection to the grid. We've got this side of C6 right here. We've got this resistor right there. We then have this side of the capacitor. We have this entire resistor. And we don't have this side. This side's just hanging in the breeze, and this side is hanging in the breeze. So with just a couple of components, 
I was able to complete all that. Now, I have a, um, another capacitor right here hanging off of the cathode. I can theoretically use that um, terminal block again, but I don't know yet. I'll figure that out um, because this actually goes right up to the plate. So I have to figure out how I want to do that. But that's, uh, that's kind of where I am. So we've got a little more orange filled in. This will connect later. This will connect. Actually, this is connected to ground, so this is good already, right there. And then this one will connect as we get down here onto this flexible resistor, which I told you about. So uh, making some progress. And, um, and we'll try to do a little bit more. And um, we'll see where we get. All right, thanks. One other thing I wanted to show you on the transformer is I've twisted all the leads together. So here's the main power leads, here's the two and a half volt, here's my main power section, and then here's my five volt. And the reason why I've twisted them together is you get less hum that way. And I'll be able to route them nicely underneath the chassis, keeping them low to the chassis, right? So I get less hum. And by rolling them together like that, um, apparently it reduces hum. So I've got these all nice and twisted. When I finally go ahead and install it, hopefully it'll uh, deliver a nice, more quiet uh, radio. All right, thanks. Be back. Just want to show you a really good example of why you have to try to think ahead a little bit here. When I installed this terminal strip earlier, I had it screwed right here. And if you remember, it was kind of running right here, and I said I could move it. Then I thought about it and said, well, this is where the transformer's connecting, right? Here's the hole where the wires come up. There's one, two, three, and four. So I had to move it. So I went ahead and drilled some holes right there, right there, and this thing is installed nice and tightly now. Also, I um, want to show you something here. When I installed the filament wires yesterday, if you remember, there was one wire that we said was going to go to ground. Well, ground is right here. How do I know that? This is my um, suppressor grid and my, um, my, my cathode, right, which get jumpered together on the second detector tube, which is right here. So there's the, uh, there's the jumper between the two and you'll see that this comes to ground, right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wire, and I neatly run it right here when I solder it, and that'll cover this wire. So actually what we'll do is we'll put this right in there so we don't forget, okay? Either one of these spots is ground at this point, okay? And uh, I'll have to run a wire from there to a ground, but that's where I'm gonna connect the ground point. I also have an extra ground point right here that I can utilize for something as I move, continue along. So that's good. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks. So just one last video for this part. So um, I still have to connect the plate of the 2A5, okay? And I also have to cr connect the screen grid. So you'll see here the plate comes down, connects across here to the cathode with this capacitor, comes all the way down, comes all the way across and connects to the common speaker uh, post. All right, big long wire here, right? Well, look under the chassis. Here's the plate, right? And here's the common speaker. So really all I need to do is, uh, is put a wire from here to here and put a capacitor in the center that goes to the cathode, right? So that's easy. The cathode and this is right here. So that's capacitor to the cathode <clears throat> and a wire that runs down here in the middle. Really simple. And then if you look at the, um, at the screen grid, that comes down right here, comes all the way down, comes all the way across, and then connects to uh, a bunch of other uh, pieces, which I'll do later. So, um, so I'm going to attack the plate, get that done. I'm probably going to just take care of this other speaker connection here. So I've got basically two 15K resistors um, back to back. And of course this comes up and basically just goes to ground. So I can put this anywhere. Another, again, another long wire that I can make really short. Somewhere right here. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to end this one. If you like these short videos, great. Let me know. If you want me to do longer ones and do less of them, I'll do that too. Just let me know what you want. Thanks. This is Ron.